Using Canva, you are able to clone yourself in a video and freeze it like this. You can also place a big text in front of a person walking through a forest just like this. You can even enter a prompt and it will create an original video for you from scratch. And those are some of the cool effects I'll show you how to make with the Canva video editor. Starting with the text to video, go to the app section and search for Magic Media. The first tab is the text to image which has been here for a while, but there's a new tab beside it that can create videos from text. I'll paste a prompt in the box of a sports car driving through a forest and let's see what it can create. You'll need to wait for a minute or two for it to generate the scene, and when it's ready, you can click on it to place it on the canvas. And this is what we've got. Now that's impressive, but let's add more text to the prompt and see how close it can follow it. I will ask for a rear view of a red sports car driving through a gray forest, and click to regenerate the video. So this is what we've got this time. To add some spices to the video, you can add a smooth transition between the scenes and have a cool-looking video like this. Please note that there are some limitations to this feature since it's still a new tool, and it is powered by a third-party tool called Runway. Next, let me show you how to place a text like this in front of this guy walking through a forest. First of all, you want to place your video on the page and enlarge it till it fills the canvas. If I play the video, you will see the guy walking towards the tree and then putting on his backpack. So what we want to do is to place a text between him and the tree. So I'll add a text box like this and change the color to white. Then I'll type in my channel name, Digital Sculler. You can then enlarge it and make the bottom of the text the same as that of the tree to make it feel more realistic. Then you need to duplicate the video clip and align it to the center. For this clip, we only need the subject, so click on Edit Video and remove the background. Now we have him twice on the page, and if you want to see the placement, you can click on Position and go to the Layers tab. We have the original clip at the bottom, the text is above it, and the clip we just removed its background is at the top. To make sure everything is in sync, you can click on the overlaid clip and click on show timing. You can see that they are of the same length, but if you click on play, it may look weird and appear unsynced. You don't need to worry about this. If they are of the same timing, then the output will be synced. Therefore, I'll download this and show you the result. So as you can see, the two clips are synced together. And for your information, this can also work in an opposite direction, which means you can have this guy walking outward and place your text behind him. Later in the video, I'll show you how to clone yourself like this, but before that, let's see how to place a video in a text like this. Go to the Element tab and scroll to the Frame section. Search for the letter you want, in this case, I want letter L. To make sure the fonts are the same, you can right-click on the letter to see the name of the font, which for this one, it is called Sans Serif font. So I will type the name in the search bar and add the letter I'm looking for. The first result will be the font and we can repeat the same for the other letters. Enlarge the letters together as you wish and align them to the center. Then I'll go back to the Elements tab and search for Lion in the video section. Click and drag the clip you want to each of the letters like this. Then you need to double click on one of the letters and expand the video clip to fill the canvas. Repeat the same for letter O as well as other letters. You can then click on the background to change the color to black, and this is what we have. Canva now has AI video avatars, and you can get access to it by going to the app section and searching for video. There are different apps you can use, and I'm going to select Nero AI for this. Pick an avatar you want from these 10 choices and type or paste your script in the box below. You can select different languages other than English and choose either a male or a female voice. We need male for this one, so let's listen to it. This audio is generated with Nero AI technology. That actually sounds realistic, but let's see the result. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you're gonna learn how to create AI video avatars in Canva. You can click on Edit Video and apply some effect to it to make the color pop. To change the background color, you need to remove the background first to make it transparent. Then you can change the color of the page to whatever you like. So let's see the final result. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you're gonna learn how to create AI video avatars in Canva. Next, let me show you how to make a text reveal effect like this in Canva. Place your video clip on the page and enlarge it till it fills the canvas. We want to place a text behind this guy and make it appear as he walks, so I'll add a text box and change the color to white. Then I'll type in a text like this and change the font to a bold one. I'll increase the size a bit and place it in the middle, just like this. You want to make sure the text starts at around his chest, and not before or after him. Then duplicate the video clip and align it to the center. Click and drag the left handle to crop it to somewhere around the middle like this. 
you can click on position at the top to see the layers and you want to duplicate the original clip one more time, then align it to the middle as well. Go to edit video and remove the background. Make sure it's on top of other elements and click on the text to apply an animation to it. But instead of the pre-made ones, what we need to do is to apply a custom animation using the first option. Hold the shift key and drag the text from left to right till it disappears from the scene. Choose a steady animation for the movement style and as you can see, it moves too fast. So we need to reduce the speed to the lowest. This will depend on your clip, so if your clip is faster, you may try a faster speed. If I play it, you can see that it appears unsynced like the previous one, but in this case, you want to watch the upper clip with no background. If the text reveals the way you want behind the guy, then everything will come out just fine. I'll export and download it, and this is the result. It says you should subscribe to Digital Sculler, so make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Another new feature on Canva is called Magic Design for Video. If you create a new video file like Instagram Reel, you will see a new option to generate videos instantly. For this to work, you need to select three or more media. So I'll select five video clips related to juice here and ask it to create a promotional video for Alice Fruit Juice. What Canva will do here is to use your media to create a short video with text overlays. So let's see what we've got. You can edit the text as you like or add any element to the scene and you can also edit the clips and add more scenes to the video to make it longer. If you have set a brand style, you can change the look and feel to fit your brand and it can be applied to all the pages. This is still in beta, but should be useful to create some short videos for social media. Next, let me show you how to create this freeze frame effect. I'll drag this video of a snowboarder grabbing his snowboard on the canvas. This effect can actually work with any moving video, so I'll increase the timeline for you to see it clearly. Then you want to drag the playhead to the positions you want to freeze. So I will drop the first one here around 2 seconds and press the letter S on my keyboard to split the scene. Then you want to drag it forward to another frame you would like to freeze and split the scene again. So I'll repeat it for two more frames I would like to freeze the video at and split the scene at their positions. After that, you should click on Share at the top to download the pages. But I'm going to download all the pages except page 1 which I'll deselect. Then you should download them as a PNG and not MP4. This will be downloaded as a zip file which means you need to extract it on your computer and upload all the images back to Canva. Then you need to press Ctrl plus Z on your keyboard or click on this icon to undo all the splitting we've made earlier since we only need them to export the frames. Then click on the first picture to place it on the page, enlarge it to fill the canvas, and crop it on both sides to meet the subject like this. Then go to Edit Photo and remove the background. Click on the next picture, enlarge it to fill the canvas, and crop it on both sides to meet the guy. Remove the background as we did earlier, and as you may have guessed, I will repeat the same for the third and the fourth. The next step is to right-click on the first picture and select Show Timing. Drag the end of the picture like this, and if you look closely, you will see the video playing and the guy moving forward. If I shift the handle backward, the guy was just coming to that position. And if I shift it forward, he has moved past the position. So you want to make sure the guy's movement is the same as the freezed position like this. Then I'll click on the second picture and drag the end handle till I can find where the guy reaches that position as well. And of course, I'll repeat it for the third and the fourth positions. Now, similar to the previous effects, if you play it on the timeline, it may appear unsynced, but if you follow the steps I showed you correctly, then your final video will come out just fine. So this is the downloaded result. Some of the features used in this video are available only on Canva Pro, but you can get a 30 days free trial by clicking the first link in the description. Another effect you can try on Canva is called Bulk Create. You can use this to create a lot of videos in bulk for YouTube and TikTok. I've created a full tutorial on this feature and you can click on this video to watch it. If you learn one or two things from this one, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Sculler. Drop your comment below and thank you for watching.